And let's talk old school. All right, let's go there. So uh, this, if you've been around SAFE for a while, you've heard us talk birds and eggs. And um, I think I'm going to start this. We've got a, a, a file that's called a cat or column aligned text that has where our eggs are. Yeah. And we got our uh, species there that are, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. This is really old school. It's all uppercase. I see that. It's, it's that some sort of enforced. Yes. I, I don't like the display of that. But Yeah, okay. Notice how I used the old uh, VT220. Amber. I, I thought that was school. a throwback. Actually. Yeah, I did a lot. A lot of my best programming was done on a screen like that. Ah. So I still run VI like that today, actually. Ah. So let's go and let's make a DBF file out of that since we're doing old school. Let's do it. And um, what we want to do is get the number of eggs as well as the average incubation for each one. So let's go and there we are. And uh, we're looking at our eggs and our nest. So let's. Drag. How we do it is we just drag files onto Workbench. There we go. There we go. So um, here we can see how to split this thing. Okay. I was actually surprised at how easy it is to split up one of these files. Yeah, it is. You just, just kind of click in there, and uh, boy, like that, we're pretty much done. And there's. If we wanted to, we could fiddle with uh, the field types, but we're okay today. And so there's our cat. And the cat came back. It's good. All right. And so then the other thing we wanted to do was drag out a CSV onto there. And let's just do that. And now this one is CSV. It's the species coming in. And um, looking good. We got nests, and there we go. There's, yeah, IDs. All right. And so there we go. And um, one thing that I didn't like was that they were all uppercase. And so I'm going to show something new in FME. So let's pop down an attribute. Here's how we add things into our workspace. And we these transformers are all over here, and you can look at them and drag them out. I'm going to fiddle with attributes. And in particular, I'm going to reset the species using a new bit of functionality. And I should mention, I'm, I'm running FME 2013 SP1, which um, is brand spanking new. Uh, next week, I think it's, yeah, it's uh, locked down right now. And uh -huh. so one of the things that's in there is a whole bunch of string functions that we can just do at any time at all while we're concatenating and so on. So I'm going to, um, what was it, full title case. I wanted to title case these babies. So I double click that. That puts out that function as I'm building a string expression, and I want that done in the species. And so, you know, I could put an, an, like other attributes in here, but right now I'm just using this as a quick way to, uh, to do that. And I'm going to attach. I sure wish I could see what the, what, what, what the result is. Right, and a common thing when you're working with FME is to connect Inspect. Oh, I did the wrong thing there. Um, connect inspectors. I just want to do a connect of an inspector, and then I'm going to run this thing. And this is showing off some of our new functionality, which is a table view. So yes, this is the data inspector. I've got rid of all the other windows, only showing the table view. And so here we see. And look, don't you like to look at those pieces? Yeah, it's it's uh, much more legible, easier to see. see. And, and that is a new functionality that right in the attribute creator, the ability to view uppercase, lowercase, yes. and all these new functions. And now I've hopped into the data inspector and seeing the results. And you know what? We can search for stuff too. So oh. if we search for sap, look at there's a yellow-bellied sap sucker in there. And if anybody remembers the game that that was part of, do you remember? I've been called that before. I've the yellow-bellied yellow sap sucker. You can also sort in here too. So. Um, that's kind of a new thing, and yellow, there's only one oh, yellow-bellied sapsucker in there. That's um, unique. And um, <laughs> we also have the cat output, and here we go. And these are the uh, our nests and eggs and stuff. So that's all working. And what I wanted to do, you know, I'm not going to build a whole workspace because we do have to leave time to talk yeah. to our friends. Um, so I'm going to actually get the egg stats workspace up here, which is very similar to what you were showing. What I was showing. What I do is I do that, and then I merge these by joining together the two streams of data on the nest ID. So you get the species onto those eggs, really. Yes, exactly. And then I'm running a stats calculator, which kind of does like a pivot table. I'm saying group this by species, and let's do some analysis of the incubation eggs. How many eggs were there, and what was their average incubation? And then I'm going out to old school DBF. So if I run this, um, again, it'll pop up those same inspectors. But more interestingly, I can right click and see my answers by asking to inspect that output DBF. There it is, DBF. Nice right. to work with DBF, really. <laughs> and there it is. So here's really my pivot table in um, DBF. And um, boy, it looks like the average is about seven days ish. Very, across very, yeah. all these species. Wow. If I didn't know better, I'd wonder if this data was faked. 
<laughs> but um, I, I would say it may be very well. It might well be, but we won't. Uh, so what we've shown really is, is ability to take two different types of formats, bring them together, clean yeah. them up, join them together, and then inspect it along the way. Yeah.